The government is cautioning Somalia against dragging it into its internal affairs, dismissing claims that the Kenyan government is financing, trading and harboring militia to destabilize Somalia. Government spokesman Cyrus Oguna dismissed the claims days after heavy fighting was reported in Bulahayo town between Somalia and Jumbaland forces. Somalia's Ministry of Information has accused Kenya of funding the rebels. Sarafina Chieng with the details of the continued simmering tension between Kenya and its neighbor Somalia. The diplomatic row between Kenya and Somalia continues with the Horn of Africa nation accusing Kenya of meddling in its political affairs. Government spokesperson Cyrus Oguna has, however, refuted the claims of Kenya's involvement in the heavy fighting reported on Sunday. Allegations by Somalia that Kenya is sponsoring and harboring militia with the objective of destabilizing Somalia are not based on any merit. He also dismissed claims by Somalia that Kenya defense forces serving in the African Union mission in Somalia are engaging in illegal trade. Why would these allegations be leveled against a force that is operating to help in terms of securing peace and stability in that country for socio-economic development. Oguna has affirmed the country's commitment to support peace-building efforts in the region, calling on Somali to desist from dragging Kenya into its internal wars. Oguna further said that the government, through its security agencies, has escalated efforts to contain the insecurity situation in Capedo at the border of Baringo and Turkana counties. The forces on the ground are going to places and locations that have been identified by intelligence. Right? And I can tell you right now that most of the forces that were there, the, you know, the bad elements that have got these illegal arms, firearms, most of them have been destabilized. And because of that destabilization, normalcy is slowly returning. His assurance coming even as a section of leaders from Baringo County hail the dusk to dawn curfew imposed by the government in Capedo. The leaders calling on the residents to cooperate with the security agencies in their ongoing security operation. We are supporting this initiative, we are supporting the process and let it continue to its end when all these bandits have been eliminated. For Channel One News, I'm Safin Aching Oma.